What's this? Weird? Oh, 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 it doesn't oh, sound oh, so oh, happy. Oh, camera, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Into the ground. Ah! Oh, oh, that was, flare. that was concrete. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to Rotorite. I'm Bobby FPV. I'm, I'm Let's Flare C, and he. Hey guys, welcome to Rotorite. I'm Bobby FPV. I'm, I'm Let's Flare C. <laughs> We're gonna do. <laughs> okay, which order are we doing? Let's right? go, go, go first. first. You're going to go first okay. this time. Okay, okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rotorite. I'm Let's Flare C. No. <laughs> Well, they didn't know which one they would go. Now which one are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Road Ride. I'm Joshua Bardwell. I'm this is Let's Fly RC, and this and is Bobby FPV. And here's what we want to know today. How many Gs does your quadcopter pull? Like, you've seen footage of fighter pilots and test gears. <laughs> we don't have that problem because we're not on board our quadcopter. So, on the other hand, we don't have fighter jets. But on the other hand, we got some pretty incredible thrust to weight ratio. Yeah, what is it, like 12 to 1 or something? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. So I want to see how many Gs can our FPV drones pull? There's a problem. What's the problem? How are we going to measure the Gs that our drone is pulling? Well, it's a very good question, Bardwell, but our GoPros have a very nice feature. So if you turn on GPS, you actually get GoPro telemetry. And this allows you to see the speed you hit, um, the vertical speed you hit, and also how many Gs you are pulling. So I always put the GPS on my GoPro, but I assumed that it was just so that it would know where it was when I lost it. Yeah. But I guess it apparently does something else. Yeah. It so, does a lot of stuff. So if we go into the settings, click GPS, turn that on, that's all you gotta do. So once you start recording, it'll automatically record all of the telemetry and then you have to connect it to your phone um, and then just overlay it on top of your footage and bam, you're good to go. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. That sounds cool. So I'm looking at the stuff that it records and there is a whole bunch of stuff there that's kind of interesting, but like not super topical for today. And I was thinking we could try to get a quadcopter to experience the maximum Max vertical speed. Max and maximum G-forces. All the yeah. Gs. And we just take turns trying to do that and just see what we can hit. Let's do it. So if you don't have a GoPro, then there's another way to get G-forces, and that is if you have a black box storage on your flight controller, uh, then of course your, your flight controller has an accelerometer, it can measure Gs. So you don't have to do this with a GoPro, but we're not 100% sure we have a flight controller with black box on it. At least not on any of the quads I'm willing to put up for this video. And uh, Why so is we're that? Why, why, why don't you I want to put I just feel like there's some risk here. What's the risk? <laughs> oh! We want to see data, uh, data flash free zero. We do not see no data flash chip found. That means we do have data flash. That means we can oh, do nice. black box logging. Sweet. So let's head to the uh, head over here to the black box. Let's erase the data flash and it will start logging and then we should be able to get G forces out of it. How many Gs do you think you can handle? Uh, well, I'm handling 1G right now. 1G is the Earth's gravitational acceleration. Okay. And that's what we all experience every day, more or less, unless you're on another planet. Okay. And then, so like at 2Gs, you'd be you, like two gravities. You would weigh twice as much. So okay. your body, instead of weighing whatever, you know, 200 pounds, it would weigh 400 pounds. So G is essentially gravity. Yeah. And In then, measurement. So, you know, at okay. three, et cetera. As Gs go up, bad things happen. Like literally, you get heavier. The blood like gets sucked down to the bottom of your body if you're standing up. Um, you lose consciousness and then eventually you die. Okay, so what do you so think the bad. maximum G's a human can take? Well, I think uh, I think like the record is somewhere around nine G's. Like fighter pilots experience high G forces. They have special suits that like compress the blood and bless the muscles in their calves to keep the blood in their brain. And they wow. have exercises <laughs> they do where they go like. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but like I think for a typical person, so like nine you know, Earths pulling down on you. Yeah, no, that's wow. too much. I think we can beat that. Okay. Do we think that the weight of my drone will affect how many Gs it will pull? Yes. Yes. So Gs are, Gs are. We were talking about Gs in terms of the Earth's gravitational acceleration. Yes. But G, accel all acceleration is Gs. Acceleration when the car speeds up, slows down, turns. The heavier the quad is the slower it's gonna accelerate. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. Like more mass, more inertia, slower acceleration. Yeah. So yeah, the weight will affect it. Okay. So my drone weighs about 860 grams for reference. So. <laughs> so is that gonna create less G because it's slower reacting? That's the theory. Okay. They're the same power, more mass, slower acceleration. Okay. Cool. Let's plug it in. So this pack, I, I'm just gonna do normal freestyle and not even really try to pull yeah. as much G as I just wanna see what normal flight, how many Gs I'm pulling. Yeah, so. good point, good point. Uh, buddy flight, G-force, normal flight, H. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? Battery. Oh, the battery. Oh, battery. Mean.
Bubby, you've got a pretty smooth style to begin with. You don't have like a super punchy style to begin with. I bet you have relatively low G-forces. Probably. Compared to some other pilots. Yeah, so I guess flying style is definitely gonna affect, you know, how many Gs you're pulling. Still, I'm curious, cause like, you're doing, you know, power loops and stuff. And it's like, if you were on board that aircraft, what experience would you be having? Would it be like, meh, or would it be like, Bleh. What about a trippy spin? Is there something here you can trippy spin? Yeah, it's a tree. I wonder if that tight kind of turn around an obstacle will generate more Gs. I'm gonna try if the reverse trippy spin. That might pull some Gs there. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, below the ground. Anyways, we got the little, little bumpy. Uh-huh. Let's see. So does this thing calculate Gs over time or does it only calculate the max G that you pulled? Because you just tapped the ground and that might throw off the... I think it's real time, isn't it? It's know. real time. Okay, yeah. cool. So you can literally see which part was what G. That's awesome. Yeah. How many G's per trick? You can literally figure that out. That's pretty cool. All right. Yeah. We got anything? We got something? <laughs> oh, oh, Don't yeah. take my trick. Don't try to do my trick. You were trying to do my trick. <laughs> I was. I want to power loop up and then come down through the gap between the sign. I feel like it's, I'm real close to getting it. Oh, I just have a freaking broken prop. The wind isn't helping. Hey, is that it? That's it, buddy. Let's go. So I, for that flight, I think a lot of the times that I'm going to be pulling the most G's are probably on some of the hard stops I do. Only one way to find out. Let's test it. Also, I'm gonna have to do it on my phone. Oh, it's on the phone. Yeah. yeah. View media. Join. Okay. Connect to the GoPro. So we're gonna be able to watch your flight footage with the G-Force overlay. So you have to download it to your phone first, I believe. Oh, okay. I think. So well, how do we get the overlay? We click on the bottom, we go to ed the edit. So go here. Okay. Scroll over to stickers. Stickers, it's in a weird place, stickers. Stickers? Yes. It's a sticker. It's a sticker. So we okay. can so we can go here and we can choose a logo, speedometer, terrain, path, speed chart, altitude, and G-force is what we want for this one. Okay, all right, so we got G's on screen right now. We have to save and render it. We gotta save it here. Okay, yeah, here we go, take, take it, it off. off. Zero G's apparently. Um, it should read one G, always. Then something's wrong here. It's, it's broken. Not, it's broken, it's not working. Also, I'm going way faster than 11, 11 miles, miles an hour. This episode might not work. <laughs> but it didn't work. But there's this third party piece of software called Telemetry Overlay. Unfortunately, it's not free and it does report the actual correct G-Force information. So we're gonna look at that instead. There right. we go. So let's go to the beginning of the flight. Here we go. And what is this? Oh yeah, the little red is uh, pointing down. that's feet altitude. You can see the red facing down for the direction of downward. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you can see cool. it moving around. So you go down to close to zero Gs when you're in free fall, yep. which is right. I'm seeing three Gs. That's okay, 2.5. Uh, yeah, most I saw was three. There's so far. one, one G. We're just flying straight. Two G's when you're on the There's three. Yeah. Three to four. This is interesting. It's weird how it goes below one in the free fall. I guess it makes right. sense, but. Oh, okay, four. Four, 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 yeah. Not as many G's at the bottom of a drop. Yeah, I you mean, get a little smooth coming out of the drop. There was four. Yeah. Let's see it here. It's just, Okay, I didn't even hit four there. Did you go through that gap? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> you, yeah. you, listen. <laughs> it was the other one though, it wasn't I had yours. to work so hard to hit that gap. I mean, I crashed at the end too. <laughs> Did you just flip it like a no big thing? Not there, no, not that one. Yeah, oh, right yeah. there. You went through it. And yep. you turned around halfway through. <laughs> this kid. See, it's almost at <laughs> zero. Even, I'm not even Five, five. <laughs> I just saw five. You, wait, 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 I go back, I didn't see five. How do I go back in this thing? It was when you pulled that out. Big drop here. Big drop. And I'm saying, oh, it was a throttle. On the throttle. Yeah. 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 
He was at the bottom of the drop and then on the throttle yep. coming back up. Five Gs. This is interesting. I thought it would be higher than five. I there thought was it, five, 4.7 through the power loop. I did think it'd be a lot higher than like... I mean, five Gs is not nothing. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> so that means that your quadcopter, which weighs 800 grams, weighs four kilograms. Trippy spin, here's so a trippy spin. So during a trippy spin, about 2.53-ish. When you reverse this, let's see what happens here. There's a okay. first okay. four. Four. Yeah. four. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of my flight, like I'm gonna be hitting less than one because I go, and then I'm doing a lot of that whole three fall thing. It was a, oh, that was six, seven, eight. That was eight, 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 when you take the glasses away, that's what the other person sees the rest of the time. I don't know if that's true. I, that's what I heard. <laughs> Let's just do a flat punch straight up from a hover full throttle. All right. Yep, hold for two seconds. Okay. Oh, now drop down and catch yourself okay. and punch hard. Yeah. All right. Just get a do big drop. Five, and then big pass. drop and catch hard. Because that's where Bubby got a lot. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. Oh! oh yeah, well, that's gonna pull a lot. A funnel. A, a funnel, funnel, yes. A like, funnel. like a tight orbit. Tight, tight orbit. orbit. Okay. As tight as you can. Yep. As high in the throttle as you can. I'm not the best at doing Faster. this. Faster! Faster! More throttle! More, more throttle. throttle! Get it tight! Get Tighter. it tight! Yes! Yeah. Okay, uh, what else, Bobby? I don't even know what else there is. Rolls. Rolls. Oh. Okay. okay. Try it, try it. Why would a roll? Oh, because like the. the no, I think the GoPro flip is not this... at the center of the drone. Ooh, my I think God. a flip in this case would be better for me. So let me try that. Okay, try flip. Let's try okay, flip. Roll Just... versus flip, sure. Cool. That was a lot the of GoPro flips. is not at the CG, so it's yep. getting centrifugal it's... force. Yep, it's getting tossed around. Well, his his roll rate is only like 600. Data flight goes up to 2,000. All right, so what if we crank up the pitch? Crank up the pitch, pitch or flip? roll? Well, we'll try both. We'll just crank them both. Can up. you fly it at 2,000? Sure. Oh, I used oh, to. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so when I first started flying, I. I used to crank it up so fast that it would screw the flight controller up. Okay. And I yeah. crank it up. Max crank the up. rates, baby. Max, Max right, the go. rates. Oh boy, here we Take go. Take off real careful. Take oh, off it, real it's careful. It's gonna be freaking freaking out. I'm backing up. Take off right. facing away from us. <laughs> yeah. Turning away from us immediately. <laughs> oh! Okay. Like, will it yeah. not even fly? No, it's Okay. It's not happening. Take it, take it to the laptop. Let's check the rate. I I, I don't know why it's doing that. Apparently it's I don't. I don't. I haven't. I was wasn't around for the, the time when it rates could it be may so be fast. trying to exceed two thousand. Maybe because with the right amount of expo, it'll feel totally flyable yeah, until you deflect stick. the stick, and yeah. then it goes bonkers. And that's all we want is yeah, the high want. deflection. We don't need to try to test my flying skill here today. All right. What are your rates? Right. What are your rates? Nineteen ninety-eight. Two, two five 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 five. Yeah, that should be fly. It should be able to fly like that. Yeah. No, that's right. One point five. There it's it. Nineteen ninety-eight. That's fine. It's got tons of expo. Look at that yeah, curve. One, one. You can fly that. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Ah. You're not even going to notice a oh, difference yeah, until fine. you deflect the stick. Feels fine. Here we go. It's going to feel fine. Here we go. We're going to the middle parking lot. Parking Watch lot. out. Woo oh, no, <laughs> oh, I want to. I want to fly like this all the time. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it front flip. Front front flip. I want to fly like this front all flip. the time. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> get it first, oh, get it first. Right, do, the, do, do, the do the flip, do the flip, do a flip, do a flip. Here we go, here's the roll. Here's the roll, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid! <laughs> okay, that's that. so <laughs> Alright, I want to fly like that all the time now. That was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I like that. All right, let's go, let's go see. Let's what, go let's see how many G-forces yeah. it was. I was like, I'm gonna go out to the middle of the parking lot in case this thing freaks out. And oh go yeah, away for from sure. You guys. For sure. I don't want to yeah. be near anybody when I do this. Oh, I, I saw, saw seven. seven. I saw, I saw seven. seven G's. Yep, I saw seven. Wow. Now is wow. the pitch gonna be more? Maybe. Yeah. Is pitch gonna be more? Be. I, I saw, saw seven for six. sure. I saw yeah. seven six. Man, seven G's. Here we go. Oh, oh, 10 G! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, 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 oh,
Let's go! Kenji! Wow! Nice. Nice. He hit 10 Gs. Well, that officially killed me. I saw eight If I was on board, I officially died. It was only for a fraction of a second. You probably live. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, okay, so nine Gs. Wow. I'm sorry, ten, ten. Gs, ten. ten Gs. We hit ten Gs. You know, there's one maneuver that we didn't do yet. Which is? That I think will generate what? some G-forces. What is it? It's the maneuver that every pilot does most. Oh. Uh, we know what it is. What is that? You know what it is. Crash? Like it's the like tank, it? right? Yeah. My game plan is to go up high in the air, okay. to turn upside down, and full throttle into the ground. The only, the only possible way this could fail is if it knocks the SD card loose and we don't get the data. Yes. But I mean, either way, smash the drone in the grass. We're going to have insurance, right? We have insurance on Best this Best Buy. GoPro. Always buy your GoPros from Best Buy. It's harder than you think to hit something upside down at full <laughs> throttle. I mean, yeah. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to get way up here. Oh, boy. Here so goes. how am I going to... I almost the feel like I could do tough. it line of sight better. Right? Right? Oh. Line of sight? I don't know. <laughs> How high can I fly? <laughs> it's windy too. Oh, oh boy. And boy, get out of the best time of day to do this. Here you are over us, my friend. Wow, you are not anywhere near it. Oh! <laughs> oh the battery's over there. <laughs> my boy freaking stuck it. He did. Yes, good job. That was it. Oh, I think you hit the metal grate. I think I mean, we would have heard a dong. Where'd the drone go? It exploded. Come on, Tank. You can do it, Tank. Look at that. Didn't even break an arm. Didn't even scratch it. Good old Tank there. Is the GoPro still rolling? Please. No. Oh. But the tank's good. Let's, the tank's do it good. With, let's do it with beta flight. Yeah. I kind of thought this might happen. The GoPro didn't. It lost the file because the hand was so hard. Of course it did. Yeah, of course um, it did. <laughs> I think I can do it better though. And uh, we've set the flight controller up to record black box, which hopefully we'll still be able to get a G reading. I'm gonna try to get a longer run up this time. Oh boy. Here it goes. Oh! oh! oh let's go. Let's go. The battery stayed on let's that go. one. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go let's check go, it. Let's go check it. Go check it. Did the battery stay on? I think the battery stayed on this time. Okay, I just heard the GoPro beeping. So the battery did wait, come disconnected. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. The battery did come disconnected? Oh, yeah. it did, it disconnected. Yeah. All right. Dang it. All right. Hopefully it works. I mean, let's go check the black box. Go. Was the, did, was was the GoPro, GoPro recording? recording? No, no. That's okay, it, we did. It was beeping right when I walked over. Okay, <laughs> we gotta try to pull the black box and see if we can get a G reading oh off it. Let's gosh. do it. Yeah, so I think <laughs> that the 10G roll might beat this. I feel like this impact has to exceed 10 Gs. If it was in it was concrete, a I'm, I feel confident it would exceed 10 Gs. My reasoning is I had, a, I mean, I had a crash not as hard as that, obviously, but it hit, only hit eight, and it was on concrete, so. You crashed? Yeah, remember the last flat? The yeah, last but it was a crash. baby crash. It, was, it, was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a try-hard crash. crash. It wasn't a try-hard crash, but it was, wasn't a baby crash. <laughs> flight one of two, that's my test flight. Here's 20 seconds. Here you can see the throttle. Oh, look the at all this, the yeah, cool. How'd you like? There's the throttle, and here's the full throttle. Oh. We were at full <laughs> throttle for <laughs> You can see it just stop. Point two, <laughs> two, one, almost a full second, almost one and a half full seconds. Nice. But what we really want to know is the G forces. So let's put the G forces on the screen. Add graph. We got the accelerometers on screen. Save so changes. Um, here they are. And as we scroll through, there's a little dip of something. Reading. No. Nothing. Did it lose it? Damn it! Didn't. Ah! Oh, didn't. You gotta it, do it again. It stopped. I don't. I don't know how we're gonna get just this. Just make the battery not disconnect. Yeah, like, we gotta make the battery. Better. Dis- I put it under. I don't. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, we make the battery. Where's some electrical not, tape? How can we make the battery not? That's what we have electrical to do. Electrical tape around the connector. Let's open these pins again, yep. and then we'll electrical tape. And the we'll connector take the together. eleven out. Zip tie. Okay. We'll, we'll take together. We'll take the hero eleven out. Yeah, we don't need it. It's the hero eleven is not gonna work. It's. I. I really hoped it would get that last little punt. But it just didn't. It's didn't still la- it, it's lagging just a little behind. Did you change props? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna connect the battery. Yep. The problem we're having is that we keep losing the last little bit of measurements, and we're not getting the g-force of the impact because the battery keeps ejecting. What are we gonna do here, Sean? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie the connector together so it can't come loose. Oh, so the only way this connector is coming loose is if the wires rip out of the solder point. And in order to prevent that from happening, I'm gonna <laughs> duct tape, gaff tape the entire dang battery. Tape it on there. Hey, I got some. Yeah. Now the battery cannot eject. It's, if this isn't a testimony to the durability of the tank, I don't know what else is, man. I mean, the frame is holding up, right? Yeah. You know. 
Doing concrete next. <laughs> that would, I mean, now that. Now that it's stuck, now that it's on there, nothing's coming off. The GoPro is not at risk anymore because that's we, true. Yeah, let's do it on the con concrete. Sure, let's do it on the concrete. No, no, let's not do the concrete. Yes. Oh my gosh! Yes. You can't even kill the battery on on the freaking dirt. <laughs> now, but now the battery now is going to stay. Let's go. Hey. All right. <laughs> For just a second. All right, here we go. This is it. For science. For science, we punt things into the ground Ooh. at full throttle. It's destroying my my fresh quad. You got this, Barbell. <laughs> of course I got this. You did it two times in a row. All right. Third time. Here we go. We hey, guys. Ready? Like this video, okay? Please. Like this video. I'm destroying my frame for you guys. Come on. Not your you frame. Your frame like, is fine. Yeah, no my, my quad. All right. Take off. Oh, it's quick. <laughs> What's up? Weird. Oh, 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 it doesn't oh, sound oh, so oh. happy. Oh, camera is doing Okay. Here we go. Into the ground. Ah! Oh, oh, that was, that was concrete. Oh, fire. <laughs> oh. Well, it's not disconnecting. <laughs> oh. I mean, hopefully the battery <laughs> held, it, held enough voltage oh that gosh. I was able to finish recording the black box. Did oh, I hit the gas? Oh, the poor battery. No, it, I tried to take it straight I down this time. the battery off? I tried to take it straight down. How do we get the battery? You went to there. All right, do this quickly. Man, I wish we had a third person and that was hilarious. I tried to do it straight down. <laughs> well, the battery didn't disconnect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> unplug it, unplug it. I'm playing. <laughs> oh, you can't. Oh, <laughs> that poor battery. Well, the good thing I didn't get okay. all my fresh batteries. I, I, oh my I, gosh! I can't even Look get it that. off the drone. I thought I was over the grass, <laughs> and I thought if I pitched over even further, yeah. then I would definitely go in harder. I didn't work. <laughs> but I couldn't see where I was exactly. I knew roughly okay, where I was. Okay, guys. The tank. You can't break the tank. You can't break the tank. <laughs> Now you destroyed my beautiful antennas. No, actually, but you can't break we the did. We did, did break, break the tank. Oh bottom no, bottom, yeah. we oh, did break it. We broke finally it. broke it. <laughs> Let's go check the black box. Come on, come on. Oh Don't my make. God! Look at the battery. <laughs> <laughs> that battery wasn't like that before, was it? Um, no, no, not quite. <laughs> it was pretty bad, but not like that. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna build you another one, Sean. <laughs> I hope we got the gosh dang. I hope we got the gosh dang. Yeah. Footage. Plug in. Uh oh. Did we break the flight controller? That was suck. No! No, it's dead. Yes, he survived. Dead. Flight controller's dead. Dang. Uh, oh, it's, that's, that, that's yeah, popping. It's not even lighting on. Well, so what well how many there? G's do you think that was? <laughs> I feel world, like we the, gave it the college try, boys. The yeah. world may never know. If you guys try this experiment at home, let us know how many G's it actually is. I have a challenge for them. How many, what's the maximum number of G's you can pull in like a spiral around a tree? Yeah. Okay? Because you pulled, I think you pulled like three or maybe four I G's. It was five. I think it could be higher. Oh, four, it was four. I think it I could said, be higher. Yeah. yeah, for sure. If you guys so, end up uh, doing that, post it on Instagram, tag us, at Rotor Riot. Yes. Yeah. And if you uh, want to try smashing a quad like this and show us the number <laughs> of G's it pulled, we, uh, we're done though. Make sure you guys like this video. We went really hard to try to get you guys some cool footage here. Thanks for watching. I'm Let's Fly RC. I'm Joshua Bardwell. Bubby FPV. And we'll see you next time on Rotor Riot. Woo! Like and subscribe. Catch y'all later. Peace.